All right, babes, I'm Bimini Bamboo Lash, and this is my photo shoot with Attitude. I first discovered drag when I was walking through Soho as a kid, and my stepdad said, look at the Adam's apple. <laughs> That's how you can tell that it's a drag queen. And I remember being kind of bemused and a bit amazed by it, but not really knowing what it was. And then when I moved to London when I was about 18, I remember going out in Soho and just being like, wow, these are these larger than life personalities and characters and just dressed up and they look gorgeous and they look fabulous and they're just owning the room. And that was my first kind of real dive in at the deep end. And then I started kind of dressing up in drag then, not really to, as Bimini at all. Bimini wasn't really born until 2017, but I was doing a version of, and it was loads of fun at the time. I first got put into drag in my student halls. I went to London College of Communication. First, first year I did at London College of Fashion, and I was in a student halls with a lot of creative people who were also very experimental. We were young, we were 18, and we all dressed up and went to one of Jodie Harsh's nights in Soho, and I felt the fantasy, even though I was wearing off the rack and my hair was flat as anything and I was just living my best life. So the origins of Bimini is, Bimini was actually what my mum was going to call me if I was born female, but then she didn't call my sister that, so I don't know what happened there. And then Bonnie Boulash was the name of my first cat when I was very, very young. And I just chopped that up and made Bimini Bon Boulash. And actually, the funny story with that is, when I was first doing drag, people were just not getting the name. So I just stopped being Bimini Bon Boulash for a while, it was just Bimini. And then on the show, it breathed new life into it. And everyone was kind of making memes with the name and it was, it was so funny to see. So I'd say drag icons, that is obviously loads and loads um, from the past, but queens that have been on the, the show, kind of anyone that gets, goes on the show, they're iconic to me because it is, very difficult, but I love fashion. So I love all the fashion queens. Miss Fame is gorgeous in Aquaria and Violet Chachki. I also love Katia for their personality. And there's so many, there's so many that just like really do it for me. There's like Shea Coulee, who's obviously phenomenal. Like there's just anyone kind of, but I'm also actually drag icons as well. Like there's East London legends, Johnny Wu, John Sizzle, Princess Julia, not necessarily a drag queen, but they're just an icon. Um, and so many people that really just push the boundaries for drag are iconic to me. There's nothing off limits with drag. And I think people are really opening up to drag as an art form more so now. People are taking it more seriously. And you're seeing us walking down the runways. You're seeing us on ma in magazines. You're seeing us on TV shows. And it's so refreshing because most of the time, drag artists are queer people. They've come from kind of queer experiences, which is a lot different to kind of straight experiences. And I think we do it for passion. And it's, it's, it's just so great to see that there's people are recognizing that and there's opportunities. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and share it around.